Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over some tips I've discovered on how to make FL keys sound better. Now this is of course one of the stock piano plugins included in FL Studio. When you load it up initially and you have some MIDI data, it will sound like this. But with the changes we'll be making in this video, we'll actually get it to sound like this. Now I want to say right now, the track I'm making this for does not actually use this as a realistic piano, it's meant to be more of a MIDI sounding one just for a stylistic choice. If you do want a more realistic tone, I have a separate video on that which you could check out here. But with that said, let's go ahead and get right into things. So before we do any effects work, we're actually going to open up FL Keys itself, and we're going to tweak a few knobs here to give it a different sound. Really I just like to mess with it, I'm not even going to copy my other one one to one, I'm just going to mess with it again to see where we get. The first one I like to mess with is Muffle. see how as you turn that up it makes it a lot brighter and it sounds really good and the one directly under that is called hardness this one's pretty important too for what we're trying to achieve here you can do that which isn't what i chose to do in the original sound but it's also a super cool tone and it depends of course on the track you're making i find right about here almost all the way up sounds great for this sound as well i put the release all the way down just because that's something i want with this i don't really want the notes to linger but of course, again, depending on the context, you might want that. And really, apart from that, that's all I'm going to tweak in here. So that was basically just a little bit of sensitivity changing, velocity, muffle, and hardness. From there, we could go ahead and put that into an effects chain, and I'll show you exactly what I've added. So if we go ahead and move that to the same one, which in this track is 15, you can see I've got a couple of effects here, these mainly just being different forms of compression and delay. Now to start off, we're actually going to disable those so you can hear exactly what they're doing to the sound. So if we take it off, again, it sounds like this. And on, it does this. I'm actually going to lower that compression just a bit. It did sound a little over compressed. But really all this is is kind of decorating the sound a bit, if you will. I start with an OTT. I didn't really want to give this too much of an OTT sound because the sound already kind of has that with the way it's made. So this isn't really doing too much. You'll want to tweak the settings and not exactly just copy these because depending on how loud your input sound is or what it is, it'll be different. But really I'm just using OTT lightly here. And then I do have a FabFilter Pro MB. This is a multi-band compressor, which I'm using to heavily compress only the high end of my sound. This is because with this specific type of sound, this being of course a really digital sounding piano, I like to have the high end really cut through the mix. And it helps a lot because it was a little bit muffled before. This just makes it have a nice shine to it. You can see if I turn it on and off, here's off. It just kind of brings that high end up a little bit. I'm not using it too much because it already is getting kind of bright because of what we've added after that. Then I just have gain reduction, which is a really big compressor. I like the sound of this one. If you don't have this, you could get a kind of similar sound with just Fruity Compressor built into FL. But this was just to compress the entire sound as a whole after some multiband. And then I'm decorating it once more with a delay plugin. Now I believe I got this plugin for free with a different bundle, like I bought a different one and it just came extra with it. But of course FL Studio has some really good stock delays too. This was again a choice I made to kind of give the sound a little bit more information as you're listening to it. Because you'll hear if I press a note here, there's a really quick delay on that. And when you do have a lot of notes bunched together like this, it makes it sound a lot more exciting I feel. And then the last one, I'm actually not using this necessarily to compress. I'm using this as a sidechain, and you can hear that in context with the rest of the track here. guys, I hope this video has helped you out. Again, that's a really useful tone I find myself going for a lot with FL Keys. And as I did mention, if you want a different piano tone that's more realistic, not necessarily that kind of digital sort like this video was, I do have a really good video on that which you can check out. Anyway, drop a like if you did enjoy and subscribe for more. I'll catch you in the next one.